You know, I see a lot of thumbnails about books, and they always had the book up, and then some gesture with the other hand, but I don't really want to do that. So, uh, maybe, maybe this? Alright, today I want to talk about A Song of Ice and Fire, or Game of Thrones. Now, I know that it's called this, but, you know, everybody knows it as this, so I'm going to be calling it this, alright? All right. And the first time I heard about Game of Thrones was from my family watching it in the living room and me not being able to come in there for a month. Now, when something's really popular and well-renowned, it's very easy to be a contrarian about it and just say that it's popular because, I don't know, people like drama and it's subvertive just because it wants to be subvertive. But I watched a video about it and I wanted to read it. So I bought the book on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. I think it's still 30 bucks on Amazon, okay? I read the prologue or the first chapter in the book, I guess, and I was in, man. I was hooked. Now, I wasn't a reader before this series, but I am now because of it. Now, I don't want to go into a 30-minute deep dive about everything in this series because a lot more talented people than I have done that already, and I would inevitably get into spoilers. Now, I'm just going to give you a setup with no spoilers, and you can see if you're interested or not. Now, a lot of the characters in the main story generally takes place on the continent of Westeros, and another main character's story takes place on the continent of Essos, which is to the east of Westeros. Now, the first book is kind of about the rise of conflict in Westeros between the Great Houses. Now, the two main houses in this story are House Stark, which are Northerners, and House Lannister, which are Southerners. Now, House Stark is generally about honor and being true to your word. Their house banner is a direwolf, and their house words are winter is coming, which you probably have heard at some point. And House Lannister is known for their riches, their banner is a lion, their house words are hear me roar, but the more used saying attributed to them is a Lannister always pays his debts. Now Westeros is cut up into seven kingdoms and they're all leal subjects of the king who lives in King's Landing on the Iron Throne. The current king is Robert of House Baratheon whose sigil is a stag and his wife or queen is Cersei Lannister. In the north there's a 700 feet tall, 100 mile wide, wall of ice called the wall this is a separation between the north and the seven kingdoms and the deep north beyond the wall the wall is home to the night's watch a celibate brotherhood who guards the realms of men from wildlings slash free folk and the looming threat for the realm the white walkers the words of the night's watch are hear my words and bear witness to my vow night gathers and now my watch begins it shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards from the realm of men. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch for this night and all the nights to come in the east we see daenerys stormborn of house targaryen she's the blood of old valyria and her house sigil is the dragon with three heads and she has an older brother named viserys targaryen their family sat on the iron throne for 300 years until it was taken now i don't like raking so i'm just gonna tell you if you should read the book or you shouldn't and uh just a little, little spoiler you should read all of these this first book is called game of thrones it's basically a setup to the whole series also kind of a mystery you should read it the second book is a clash of kings it's basically about the conflict between the great houses of westeros you should read it the third book a storm of swords is the longest and uh, easily my favorite without getting into spoilers i'm gonna be as vague as possible it's about choices and betrayal there you go. The fourth book is A Feast for Crows. It's kind of about getting a different point of view of the story and uh, seeing some more of the different houses of Westeros. The fifth book is A Dance with Dragons. It's kind of about newfound power and tough choices that our characters have to deal with. I think you, I think, I think you not read it. <laughs> now I just want to thank you for watching this video. Comment if you liked it. Comment if you didn't like it. Anything helps. I try to stream every day around seven to around ten. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey. Have a good day. Ramsey's is the best. Hell no. Name is Nacho. Show me my respect. Listen to me. Hit up Chancho if I need some sweats. Took our vows, but you know I still want the sex. I still want the sex. My life